Freedom or death. Freedom or death. Attack! My little girl. My little... You stole my little girl! Todd. Security! Over here! Don't do this, Todd. They'll kill us if you hand us in. When your wife walked out, she took your daughter away. You couldn't live without her. So you bought yourself an android. A substitute little girl. You thought you could love her. But she would make you forget. But nothing could replace your child. I just wanted to prove to myself that I was a good father. She was wrong. But I fucked it all up all over again. She was right in the end. I didn't deserve them. I don't miss my little girl. You don't know how much I miss my little girl. Uh, is there a problem, sir? No. I made a mistake. Sorry. Good luck. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand an end to segregation in all public places and transport. 
We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. You son of a bitch! and hide I knew upstairs. It. Come on, Alice. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? And keep calm and just do what I say. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. No signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. seen snow before it's pretty it's slowing us down but at least we won't meet any humans along the way it's a good thing Zlatko had a car I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold I saw it once in the garage I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay 
Stay inside, Alice. Somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Kara. Over there. Kill you. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. to make a choice, Marcus. Whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> 